finish this? That sandwich was the only good thing going on in my life. Someone ate the only good thing going on in my life. Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 4, Episode 2. It feels a little bit weird going back to Buffy after I watched two Angel episodes, but I am so excited to be back with Buffy. I mean, I love Angel as well, but it's again like a new show. It's still trying to find its footing. So it's kind of nice to just come back to Buffy, a show that I know so well already. Like we're three seasons in, I understand all the characters, all the circumstances. And I'm excited to see what they're up to. I really miss them and I want to know how university is going for them. I mean, poor Buffy, her first day wasn't a smashing success. I'm hoping that maybe this time around she's going to be more comfortable at university, be able to fit in more and is able to find her footing. So this next episode is called Living Conditions, which I'm assuming maybe there's going to be some drama with her roommate, like, right? Like she's living in the dorm, maybe something's going to go down. Or maybe there's gonna be a monster in their dorm, like exactly on the floor that they're at and Puffy has to figure out who it is. But yeah, I'm excited to see where this episode's gonna go and I wonder if we're gonna get to see any new information about the guys at the end of the previous episode, the ones who electrocuted a vampire and then advanced upon him. Did they kill him or did they take him? Like, what is their goal? Are they trying to open up a menagerie with like full of monsters? Or are they trying to the power away from the vampire and maybe infuse it into themselves? Like turning themselves into hybrids or like, I don't know. I have so many questions about it. It's so exciting. I can't believe that we started with the mystery already. I am actually just shocked by it because so far that wasn't the case for any other season besides season one. But also that was like the whole introduction to the show, so they had to pull some big stops out for that. But then for season 2 and 3, we didn't really get a big bad or a big mystery going until a few episodes in. So not only there's like a completely new environment for Buffy to be into, but there's also a new way they're structuring the show, which is very exciting. So yeah, if you guys are interested, the full length reaction for this is gonna be linked down below. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay. Dramatic music. Oh, wow, this music is so. I know I'm supposed to be on Buffy's side, but I like the music as well. Just didn't realize you'd be coming and going at all hours. Well, not that I mind. <laughs> I'd but mind. I'm just surprised. I'll every call you make in here, and that way when the bill comes, it won't be a problem. You bet. Okay, then. <laughs> Her face. I just wanted to make sure. Oh. What? Oh, the music. Is she gonna restart the song? That we didn't have a thief or something. Like who? Said the wily dairy gnome? <laughs> With the ironing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's a little weird. A little bit passive aggressive. Also kind of weird that she couldn't go like three seconds without the music turning it off. That was intense. Mini mom of Momdonia. <laughs> Wait, did you just hear something? Yes. I'm true. From my right. Kind of loud. Sorry, no. <laughs> Darn. Could use a little play tonight. Well, your wish came true. Is Anya around somewhere? Ominous, but I kind of dig the glowing eyes. It kind of looks cool. Why don't you quit hiding and come out and face me like a thing? <laughs> hey, I caught you. Oh, it's Kathy. This way you don't have to walk these spooky paths alone. <laughs> That's actually very great. sweet of her. She's That's just great. a lot. But she seems sweet. Fresh air, the trees, the smell of <laughs> <laughs> from Kenny's perspective, that must be so weird. Like, your roommate just randomly pushed into her bushes. What were you thinking, taking him on like that? Oh, I... <laughs> I know, Krav Maga. I don't know, I, I guess I, I panicked. <laughs> My goodness. Those nails are something else, aren't they? Giles! Oh, look at him! He's so casual! Oh. You run? <laughs> and it suddenly occurs to me that you've never once asked me what my day's plans were, which would lead me to inquire whether you're feeling entirely yourself. It's not true. I ask about you all the time. Do you, though? <laughs> okay, well, maybe the words don't actually make it out of my mouth, but... <sighs> yeah, she's a neat freak, which is... 
good and also not good in a roommate. On the one hand, she's not gonna leave messes behind. On the other hand, you also gonna leave messes behind. Well, that's kind of rude. I mean, I know she ruined your sweater, but don't go through other people's stuff. <laughs> she's like, I, I guess, I mean, I just, she's weird. It's not even surprising that she has weapons. I'll watch your back. I'm sure he will. Especially the downstairs region. Yep, there he goes. Parker, Abrams. I'm at Kresge Hall. Buffy Summers. Maybe I Stevenson. was wrong. Maybe this is the new love interest. Okay. Parker. He got hit by the buffinator. <laughs> buffinator. Now he's powerless. You think? Uh, no question. Hi, everybody. Hey, Kathy. Oh, wow, you, you don't have to wait for an Squeeze invite. In. Okay. Wish I had that kind of confidence. Is that my sweater? Yep, sure is. I didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> I mean, you got mine all muddy. I was saving you from a bear. A bear? Mugger. <laughs> Milo! It's not a problem, is it? I love her. I mean, I figure bear. we're almost like sisters now, living together and everything. Yeah, that's going way too fast. <laughs> the country. Oh, she's gonna get. The extreme close up, that was so funny. Oh, she really just labeled all the food. She wrote on the eggs. That is a little bit psychotic. No! Who left their gum here? Me? I never even gum chewed no. gum before in my entire life. It wasn't life. me, it had to be somebody, Buffy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she just swallowed it. So Buffy saw a bean. And now she's having fucking nightmares. <gasps> you, not a scorpion. No, I hate scorpion. No, what the fuck is this? Let's hope this vision doesn't come true. Do you always make that noise when you sleep? Why are you gonna, what? I wake up and there's Kathy staring at me like I'm some kind of freak. Well, actually, the worst part, I'd have to go with the demon pouring the blood down your throat. No, I think it's the scorpion part. He's our grown-up friend. Uh, uh, not in a creepy <laughs> Oh, look at his little nice smile. Ditto. Sounds like somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You were next to it. <laughs> you know what this means? Yes. Not only does she take my sweater, but now she has to horn in on my dreams. <laughs> she is the most ever mooch. Oh, I haven't even gotten to the floss. Buffy, focus. Still, uh, let me know if she um, hits the red zone. Yes. So are we thinking that this is just a normal thing for her? Like, as an only child, you're gonna have to go somewhere, you have to share things? Or is she already being affected by these creatures? Okay, they said she, and they both had the dream. I think they want us to think it's Buffy, but I think might be the one might be Kathy. I'm on to them. I don't know why I tapped it here instead of here. Clearly not smart. Lots of popular artists who don't get their dues. Madonna, Whitney. <gasps> oh, really she's true. taking her guy as well. Parker? Is that Parker? Hey, uh, I just stopped by to say. Oh, she angry. Kind of killed you to be nice, you know. <laughs> Looked like you were being nice enough for the both of us. I'm cold. Well, I'm hot. Deal with it. I thought she was gonna say, well, put on a sweater then. <laughs> Buffy, Buffy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna choke on the milk just to prove a point. <laughs> I don't like this. Why is it so quiet? Why is there no music? Oh, cool, there's music now and it's so ominous. Um Um First of all, who was that? They're running? They're back? It's share time. And I'm like, oh yeah? Share this. <laughs> you hit her? So either you hit her or you did your wacky mime routine for her. <laughs> Black cancer! Oh! She's other really bad things. On the plus side, you killed the bench, which was <laughs> looking shifty. Definitely was giving her the sting eye. Like, who's gonna... Oh, cool. Yeah, we're zooming in on it. Lovely. Dramatic shot that was so funny to slow motion the sound effect. <laughs> They're really about to just kill each other. No, 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 no,
I hate scorpions. Oh, they creep me out so much. Mm. Oh, she's still mm. having the dream. Are you gonna make that noise all night? Kathy's evil. <laughs> I'm an evil fighter. It's simple. I'm gonna have to kill her. <laughs> no, that's just because you don't like someone doesn't mean they're evil. Look. You you collected her toenails. Evil toenails. What does that mean? But you better show those bad puppies to Giles before you do anything, just to be sure. Well, absolutely. I don't want to do anything crazy. Uh, you heard. She says that after collecting toenails and measuring them twice. I think we've left crazy a while ago. We're in insane territory now. No, not not bitchy crazy. More like homicidal maniac crazy so i told her to come see you okay <laughs> hello <laughs> she has parts that keep growing after they're detached she irons her genes she's evil <laughs> she has to no more proof needed you can see it in those shifty little eyes of hers one of these days she might even push somebody too far that was very creepy avoid the legs and the head she could head bite you. The legs. Or bite you. Oh. So is she actually possessed? I, I'm so lost as to what's going on. Like. Huh. Look what I did. Oh, she. And she fully. No. <laughs> She's one of those things. No way. I knew it. <laughs> She was actually right. She sounded so crazy. Due to the lack of a soul. So I'm borrowing yours without even asking. Uh, <laughs> Tonight when they come. So is it like a big deal that Buffy lost part of her soul? Are we not concerned about that? Oh, wait, are you saying that Buffy's been doing a Linda Blairness because Kathy's been sucking her soul? I believe so. Yes. Excuse uh, me. So Buffy. Hey, my guy. Chicago. Is that her dad or something? So you're telling me that if she had sunk Buffy's soul out of her, her own father wouldn't have recognized her and would have just randomly took Buffy with him? Sounds fake, but okay. She clearly should have stayed at college because her knowledge is very limited like she really needed to get smarter <gasps> no the actual rooming mm -mm. not to the left this is all i wanted this is all i wanted yeah. perfect oh my god that's awesome it's bad as well oh, i'm so Are you gonna finish this <laughs> no the swimming again <laughs> no that's so funny She's about to murder Willow as well. <laughs> Alright, so that was episode 2. And I gotta say, as an only child, I understand Buffy. I get her. I feel her. I've been there. Like, when I first left for uni, I had to share a room as well with someone. Luckily, it went a lot better. Like, we really got along and we're really good friends. Till this day, I mean, she wasn't a demon, so that was already, like, a huge plus on her side. But, yeah, we got along. So, I got lucky, but I understand where Buffy's coming from. Like, it's such a huge adjustment from being, like... The center of attention or whatever Kelly said like you know you're on your own you can do whatever you want you have your own space you have your own everything you're like the only person your parents need to pay attention to like you get a lot so like leaving all that behind and having to have to share everything and be more considerate than you might have been before it's a lot to take in and a lot to deal with but I'm so excited to see how Buffy's gonna be acting now that she has Willow as a roommate because I'm sure they're gonna have some issues as well like they have to like they're gonna be living in close quarters but I'm hoping that I mean the way the episode ended it was really funny that Buffy is still just like how dare you eat my food maybe she's gonna go Kathy levels where she's gonna start labeling her own food I don't know but I'm sure she's gonna you know chill out a bit and also it's gonna help that if she's gonna have all of her soul intact you know not just some of it which kind of made her cranky so yeah i'm really excited to see her and willow room together and see how that 
affects their relationship and what it's gonna be like going forward. As a whole, this episode was more just like a monster of the week episode, but I still really enjoyed it because it was just so much fun. Like truly, Sarah Michelle Gellar's acting was so funny in this one. I loved also the camera zooming in on her face when she was looking at someone and like the intensity in her eyes was so well done. She was just like, Okay, I can't do it. I'm not Sarah Michelle Gellar. Like, who am I kidding? Like, I'm not her. But she did do an awesome job, so kudos to her. I do feel a little bit bad for Kathy, though, because clearly she just wanted to, you know, go to college and do something with her life. I mean, she's 3,000 years old. It's finally time that she gets to do what she wants to do. So I guess that's a little sad that, you know, her dad, I'm assuming, or maybe her king, I don't know. It seemed like he's her dad, you know, came and took her back home. That kind of sucks because, I mean, besides Buffy, she wasn't hurting anyone. So maybe if they hadn't come after her, she could have, you know, not tried and steal someone's soul. Like she could have just stayed here without her soul. And I don't know, studied to become something or whatever she wanted to do. Because I feel like a lot of her things were fine. There were just a few things that were not okay, like going through Buffy's clothes and taking it without asking and just like, you know, flossing on your bed and also cutting your toenails on your bed, like girl, do this in the bathroom, like that's kind of disgusting, don't do that. But other than that, I mean, she was kind of okay, I mean, kind of crazy, a little bit of a neat freak, but nothing too bad. And like, I still feel like the phone thing was a totally fair thing to ask, like, if you're gonna have to pay for the bill, like, it makes sense that you would, you know make sure that you're only paying for what you actually used up like if your roommate is calling like an overseas number all the time for like 30 40 minutes a day you don't really want to be the one paying for that so like that's a fair request labeling your food to some degree you know it's fine but also kind of too much when you put your name on every single egg and also she filled up the fridge like that's not okay like you know use like the two shelves and the other two are for Buffy but other than that, she was fine and I definitely enjoyed her. Like, she was also very funny and it was a fun dynamic between her and Buffy. It would have been interesting to see if she had lived maybe for another two or three episodes. Like, we just have her be in the background, knowing Buffy and then slowly stealing her soul and then, you know, we find out that she was actually a monster. Like, maybe that could have been kind of fun to see Buffy spiral more and more out of control not just in one episode but her going insane would have been slower and would have made more sense and would have been a bigger surprise that she's actually correct about her being a monster right i was still surprised but i think it would have been a lot more plot twisty if it had happened like a few episodes from now we also had that moment between oz and that random blonde girl like what was that about like they were just staring at each other walking past each other what was going on with that who is she why were they doing that like do they know each other what's that all about it was such a short scene but i feel like it's very important so i'm keeping it in mind if I see her again, I'm gonna be paying attention to what she's doing. And also that was the same scene where we saw the camo pant guys run away or like run in the background. Like, I guess they were somehow present in this. What were they doing? Were they looking for this monster as well to try and kill it or take it or eat it or make love to it? I have no idea what their goal is. But clearly they missed the mark this time because we saw the two creatures at the end and then they summoned the third one and then they went back so i think they missed them this time which is good or bad back to <laughs> who are they that was such a short scene i want to see more of them but it's cool that they're still like very briefly but they're still having like the plot line sewn into the episode so that's cool i'm also keeping my eye on them seeing what they're doing it was also so fun to see giles so casual like he was running in the beginning i'm pretty sure i saw him wear jeans in one of the scenes as well what has he ever worn jeans i am like who is this new man i am in love it's really nice to see him be so carefree like he's free from the council he's free from all those responsibilities he can just be himself and be there for buffy and do all of this cool stuff and fight monsters and I love it. I really love that for him. So yeah, overall, a really funny episode. I enjoyed it a lot and I can't wait to see more. And thank you guys so much for watching and a huge, huge shout out to all my patrons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I'm